guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Anosha for those who are new here and today we are going to do a really fun DIY. We are going to make these stud toe boots. These boots seriously look so cute with this little bow on the back. Bow well, is optional if you want to add but you know I'll give it a little pizzazz. I really really love how these turned out. Um, the key here is how I put the studs on here. They will not be going anywhere. They are literally part of the shoe now. It is the best way i found to put like embellishments on shoes and I can't wait to show you guys how I did it. So if you want to see how I created these stunning boots, keep watching this video. So what you'll need for this DIY are boots, studded bows, Segru, pliers, and studs. You're going to start off by opening up your Segru. I am using two packs per shoe. And once you have them out, you're going to mold them together just using your hands. And then you're going to flatten the Segru and keep one edge flat. And then you just mold it on to the tip of the shoe. You just want to play around with the segru so that it's nice and even on all the sides. You don't want it bumpy. You want to try to get it as smooth as possible. Once I have my segru on where I want it, I'm going to take a butter knife and I'm going to just cut around the edge of the shoe that way I get a perfect line and it doesn't look like I just attached something onto the shoe. It really just cleans it up and makes it look really good. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other shoe. I'm just eyeballing and measuring against the first shoe to see where I placed it. By all means, you can measure it out so you have it in the same exact spot if that, give, if that gives you more comfort. I'm going through now and using my knife to just flatten all the edges, make sure they're nice and straight and clean. And now it's time to add your studs. The reason why I love Segru is that it takes a little while to dry and it's very moldable. Once you add your studs to it, it's going to dry like cement. The studs will stick right into it and they are not going anywhere. They are permanently on there and it's just... Honestly, it's the coolest product and I love working with it so much. And then it's time to add the bowls on the back of the shoe. I just added them right on the back of the ankle, right above the heel. And that's pretty much it. I love how these boots turned out. You will never guess that we added the studs on the toe or the bow in the back. They are just so fun and I feel like they're perfect for these winter months and for any festivities you have coming up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Also, don't forget to use the hashtag Miss Anosha DIY so I can see your creations.